Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today is going to be our first ever slow cooker recipe for our YouTube channel and we will be showing you with step-by-step -step video instructions how to make a slow cooker Lancashire hot pot or you might call it Betty's Hot Pot from Coronation Street or you might just call it something simple like a lamb hot pot but today is how it's done. As well as this recipe we have more than a thousand recipes for you to choose from over at RecipeThis.com with a common theme of cooked with kitchen gadgets. We have air fryer recipes, instant pot recipes, slow cooker recipes, soup maker recipes, bread machine recipes and many others. We can't wait to see you over there to check out the rest of our collection. The ingredients you need to be thinking about first is a white onion that you've sliced, a little bit of butter and of course your lamb. The lamb we've got is some typical shoulder lamb that's been cut into cubes. Uh, neck lamb is fine too, just whatever you've got. And we kept ours in the freezer so that we can then defrost it and use it when we need it. So let's head into the Milner kitchen. So the first thing is to get your onion and butter in your pan and start melting your butter. You use butter in a Lancashire hot pot because it's known for its butter, so we don't replace this with extra virgin olive oil. And you want to get your, your crock pot on the full heat so it'll quickly melt the butter and you can be slightly sauteing the onion, but you do most of the onion sauteing once you've added your meat to brown. At this point, you just want to be melting your butter. As you can see, the butter's perfectly melted now. It's mixed in onion with the onion. So now it's time to add in the meat. You can see we've had quite a bit around here. And you want to get the lamb so that you can get it brown and get it mixed with the onion and the butter. So it's really delicious. I want this crock pot because I can take it to the stove and you know you don't have to use a separate pan when you're sorting things out. And as you can see it's slightly starting to brown now and the onions will sort it at the same time which is fantastic. I love a Lancashire hot pot because it's just so simple, there's not much effort to it and it's easy to make on a cold winter's day to warm itself up. And as you can see, the lamb is now getting a lovely brown colour to it. And now it's got a lot of flavour on it and it's fantastic for now adding in the next ingredients and taking off the stove. So I've taken the crock pot off the heat and now I'm going to add the last few ingredients before we're going to put it on. Uh, slow cook for three hours. So you want a good portion of carrots, about three large carrots will do, or you can chop and peel a load of small ones. You also want some mixed herbs. And then of course, the salt. And a little bit. And then as well as this, we're adding in some stock. If you haven't got lamb stock, you can use another meat stock, it's fine. Um, I actually had some um, leftover poultry stock and that's what we've used here. And then you just want to give it a good mix so that you're not stuck with one piece of lamb that's absolutely covered in herbs. And then it's ready. Then place the lid on your slow cooker and you want to be putting it on high and you want to be doing three hours. We're going with three hours because then after the three hours, we can adjust the stock, we can add in extras, and of course we can add the sliced potatoes on top. So to do the sliced potatoes, it's all about thinly slicing potatoes whilst they've still got the skin on. The skin gives, gives them a wonderful texture once they are cooked. 
I made this fantastic for something quick for the air fryer. You know, if um, you are struggling with decent potatoes, what you can do is when your favourite potatoes is out of season, use some small potatoes just to kind of use them up. And then you don't have to worry about peeling those little potatoes that are just really not capable of being peeled. And you just want to slice them like that so that it's kind of not as thin as if you were making your own homemade potato crisps um, but that little bit uh, thicker so that you could actually make something lovely with it um, such as our slow cooker Lancashire hot pot which we also have a video for that you can check out and that's basically how you do your sliced potatoes and then you can then do it for the rest of your potatoes too but note, you don't want to do too many so that you overload your air fryer. And I've decided not to do the fourth potato because these were quite big baked potato style ones. And that is just plenty because otherwise we'll end up overloading the air fryer. So then once you've sliced your potatoes, you want to add seasoning and extra virgin olive oil. We're going with just some salt and rosemary for the seasoning and then it's perfect for your old school recipes. Because as I'm doing these now, we have Lancashire hot pots in the slow cooker and these are gonna be the topping for those. You don't want to be adding too much oil, so I normally just do the lid of the olive oil. And then give them a good mix. Then, for example, you see there you've got loads of rosemary just on one and you don't want that. So, they're all nicely sliced now. They've been seasoned and they're ready to go into the air fryer. So, pull out your air fryer basket. Load them all in. Make sure there's plenty of space for them. And then they're ready to air fry. So you want to be setting the temperature to 190 Celsius, that's 360 Fahrenheit, and then the cook time would normally be about 12 minutes, but it depends on how many you've got in your air fryer. I'm actually going to bump up the cook time to 15 minutes because we've got quite a lot going on in there. And we beat. Now let's check on our potatoes. Oh wow! The and look you've got a lovely crispy glow and i can really smell that rosemary they just smell so good as you can see they're really not far off being cooked you just need a little bit longer at a higher temperature just to finish them off and to make them um, to perfection and obviously these are going to be going on top of our Lancashire hot pot you can use them on top of any casserole that you want it. So now we're going to put them back on. We're going to be increasing the temperature up to 200 Celsius, 400 Fahrenheit. And we are going to give them another five minutes and then see how they're doing. Because we've done a few more than we normally do and the air fry is a lot fuller. And we've beeped. And wow, they look wonderful. I cannot believe how good they look. If you've never done sliced potatoes in the air fryer before, I totally recommend that you give it a go. You know, they are just fantastic for on top of casseroles. Um, think if you're out of tater tots, you can use them instead of tater tots on your casseroles. Ash corn flour, gravy granules, or anything unnatural like that. So as you can see, we've generated quite a lot of fat and juices off the lamb. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this out and what this is is one of my old bowls and it's got a sieve there so it's just perfect for draining. So I'm going to put my oven gloves on because this slow cooker is still quite hot and then the idea is that you pour it in and then, I don't need the gloves now, and then you can reduce the liquid from the lamb hot pot. So give it a quick shake, throw it all back in the slow cooker, because then that's your main casserole ingredients. 
and then this is what you have left and that's the liquid that I'm talking about. So this can then be used to make a gravy in the blender and then for the gravy to then be added back into the slow cooker. So into the blender you want to pour about half a can of tin tomatoes or um, you can use tomato sauce instead if that's more your thing. And then what you want to do is you want to grab five of your chunks of lamb. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you also want to grab five of your slices of potatoes that you've made for your topping. These are really big, big slices, so I'm going to reduce that down to just three. And then as well as this, you want to be adding in a bit of Worcester sauce. A bit of salt. And a few little chunks of your carrots as well, because carrots are a fantastic thickener for gravy. It's the best natural thickener you will find is some carrots. And then once you've done that, you just want to add in a bit of your lamb juices, but not all of them. I would aim towards half. But you can always adjust it. You can always put the blender on, see how it's doing, and then add some more if you need to. So, blender lid is going on. Note, we are using our Ninja Soup Maker, which also has the most fantastic blender we've ever had. So we kind of call that our blender. So once you've turned it on, I always um, click the blend and I go with the pulse. <laughs> So we can adjust our seasonings. I mean, amazing, isn't it? How quick that was just to blend that. Oh, that is absolutely delicious. But I feel like it needs a little bit more salt, some mixed herbs, and a little bit more of the leftover juices. All about adjusting it to your own taste and then let's put it back on for a second and it's done so now you can see we've got an absolutely delicious tomato sauce lamb gravy and now what you want to do is you want to start the process of pouring it into your slow cooker. I recommend you leave a little bit just in case you've made too much sauce because you do not want it to end up with more sauce than meat. So give it a quick stir around. And as you can see it's created this wonderful creamy sauce for your lamb that's absolutely delicious. And then, as you can see, I really don't know it need the remainder of it. So you can use the remainder of it to serve with it. Or best of all, save it for a stock for next time you're cooking lamb. So once you've done that, it's the time to add your potatoes. So now let's decorate the top of the hot pot, shall we? Just add yourself a lovely circle of potatoes. You probably find that you'll have some left over that you can help yourself to. And then just create a row. If you've got some meat that's sticking out, you can just push it down a little bit. Like that. And then you can add another layer. Just centre bits. Then I find we've still got quite a bit left. I always find that you can never seem to do the right amount of potatoes. It's a bit like when you're cooking pasta, you always seem to cook way too much for the amount of people you're serving or you don't do enough. So that looks absolutely lovely now. And now we're going to put the slow cooker back on for another hour with the potatoes and with the sauce and then, in, and then you can enjoy it. So I portioned up some of the lamb hot pot for the kids. 
and this is what I portioned up. As you can see, the potatoes are still fantastic. We've got some lovely lemon carrots in here, and the kiddies are absolutely going to love this. And the carrots are just so full of flavour. It's just brilliant how soft and tender they are, thanks to the slow cooker. And look at how good that lamb looks. It looks absolutely fantastic. See if I can grab some. Oh yeah, that is really, really nice. Obviously I'm going to add a little bit more back on George's plate because he'll get cross if he thinks his sister's got more lamb than him. But anyway, if you just want a quick dinner, thanks to the slow cooker, then nothing beats a Lancashire hot pot because it's easy prep. It's totally gluten free like I showed you with the gravy. And you can also reheat the leftovers the next day if you didn't manage it all on the day. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. As well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there.